Welcome, brothers. Wouldn't that be great if I started a cult? That I thought about that. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to add something to my web store, which would be like these purple robes or whatever. No, no, no. Teal robes. <laughs> All right. And then uh, I'll have some like rules and chants and stuff. It'll be awesome. Don your robes, brothers. We join the circle at midnight and drink Mountain Dew and snowballs. So, by the way, that is my favorite hostess snack treat is snowballs. I don't know, for some reason they're just so comforting. All right, listen up. First off, I've met a life goal. The only thing missing right now is my permanent Valhalla. Just, uh, just still working on that one. Everything else perfect. Mission accomplished. Like, everything from here on out is just bonus gravy. Oh, do I look all ratted out or what? Ah. All right. So, a goal I've achieved recently is I'm running three games, three really good role-playing games right now. And I think I told you about them in the last video. I had the first session for my Sunday night game in which I'm running the old Isle of Dread, which came out, I do believe, in 1979. This is the Goodman Games remake of it, and really only a third of the book is their actual remake. Like, the middle third is, is the new good stuff, or the revised stuff, new maps. Oh, it's, it's all so good. It makes me so happy inside my heart. Yeah, I don't even turn my phone off for these videos. Nope, nothing important. It's uh, the school. All right. We're working on this giant ogre's army right now. I'm super excited. It has, I'm pretty sure it has like 70 to 80 ogres as like the base. And it's an old school Warhammer fantasy army. So all on square and rectangular bases. I'm working on the prototypes now, making a recipe, making sure it all jives up. And uh, I'm really excited about that one. It's going to be really good. And I have this secret goal, don't tell anybody, but I have a secret goal to be done by the end of December with it. Yeah, let's, let's just say that. Okay, and I have a client who is sent us some Mega Gargants, and he sent three of them. Yeah, just uh, was like, whatever, let's just, instead of doing just one, let's do three. And, uh, hold on, let me get them all in the frame at one time. Ha! Nah. It wasn't a trick. It was real. And then some other gianty stuff. Kragnos. Look at this guy. He's friggin' awesome. Dang, what up with that? Okay, so we're doing one of each type. Real excited about that. Really good. And we got our Christmas trees up. We have a couple of fake Christmas trees, a green one and a white one. We put them up in a couple of corners of the house. It's, uh, it's really good. Gives a, gives a nice vibe. When I was growing up, we always had real ones. We grew up in Oregon. Real ones, like, we went out, you get like a little permit or whatever, and you go out in the woods and actually find one and, and bring it home with you. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. I kind of miss that. About half of my old friends from elementary, junior high, and high school. All the same group, by the way. About half of them stayed in Oregon, and then the other ones moved. Uh, I think uh, Seattle, Arizona. Uh, one guy, I think, is in, in the South. Is he? Oh, he's in the Carolinas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. So anyway, oh, I'm just rambling, by the way. I don't really have a purpose to being here. Uh, let me, other than to let you know that I'm still alive, still setting up a couple new projects. We're ready. And, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, my Isle of Dread game. So, a friend of mine said, hey, can you come run a game for my family? And you can see a picture of this if you are friends with me on Facebook, which you can be. And he, it's his uh, kids and his... Uh, and uh, two of his nephews, they're all in their 20s. So it's basically his relatives that are in their 20s. 
and uh, what was it? Uh, one, uh, there were seven players, and then me makes eight, and that's that's pretty good. Uh, the most I've run is eleven people at the same time. Then it's then it's crowd control, really. But you you can do it. And uh, you know I'm going to make another video giving some some DM advice. And uh, what else? Yeah, that's kind of what I got. My life is very peaceful right now. It's it's pretty awesome. It's really it's really going good. And I'm excited. I'm excited about pecan pie. Yes. Pecan pie. That's my favorite. I gotta pace myself though. I can't just. It's not like when I was younger where I could liter. I would literally get a large pecan pie and I would eat it in a sitting. I would just eat the whole pie. Start from the middle and to work my way out to the edges. I don't eat the crust. Life is too short for crust. And uh, guy, what else do I have going on right now? I'm painting a lot of cool figures. Oh, they ordered double pepperoni pizzas and they had soda at the game last night. That was just, it was just perfect. It was just really neat. It was all new players, so it was like, this is their first time playing role-playing games. They didn't know how any of it worked. And I'm like, I am made to do this. Oh, and by the way, you can, and I'm not plugging this because I need it, but maybe you need it. I do have a paid DM service on my web store, bluetablestore.com. Uh, go to, I think it is Luxury Items, and it says text only, but I actually run it on Roll20 and Discord uh, as an option. So you can get uh, voice on there too. And I have lots of cool maps, and I'm a great storyteller, and it could be you and I, and it's so it's a flat rate for just whatever your group is for a certain amount of hours. And uh, I'll, just, I'll just hop on and have something ready to go for you. Uh, I like a lot of artistic license, by the way. So... That could be fun, too. That's kind of my dabbling in that. And, uh, Guy, what else? Yeah, we've got cool projects coming in. we got another Thousand Suns thing going. We're working on these red armored Dark Eldar that are churning out really cool. I'm very excited and happy about those. And, uh, oh, yeah, so many. And army's just now getting done. We've got a Grey Knight's army. We have a Space Marine's army uh, that we've been working on. Uh, geez, what else? Yeah, I think my last count was 36 projects. Usually, I like to keep like a 40 minimum. That's really a good number for my current crew size. Oh, my crew is like so strong right now. So many people. And uh, just ready to go. And it's very easy for me to get projects out to them. So, all right, anyway. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And if you're an existing client and you have a question... Uh, go ahead and just email me because according to my reckoning, I'm caught up on my emails. So if you sent me one and I haven't responded, then you should probably resend that and get it, get it right to the top. And uh, we can figure out what's going on. All right, well, that's it. I still exist. I'm still around. Uh, I'm, I'm always working and then I'm always kind of like not working too. Uh, I'm always available. Even on, like on Christmas Day, I'm checking my emails still and making sure everything's tended to. That's uh, the nature of my existence. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope your life is, is going, going well.